All right, hello YouTube, Kenny here again. Uh, this Friday we're doing a two beer review. Um, I got another local one here from Minnesota. Uh, Tractor Beam by Tin Whiskers Brewing in uh, wonderful St. Paul, state's capital. Um, this is a very interesting hazy IPA. See a trend of these hazy IPAs, don't you? That's because I'm a huge fan of them. You already knew that. If you watched any of my beer videos, I've said that many times. However, which makes, what makes this one in particular different from a lot of the other hazy IPAs that I've uh, reviewed um, is that when I'm looking at their website for more info about this beer, I discovered that I have not, as far as I can recall, heard of any of these hops or maybe even had any of these hops before. We got a hazy IPA brewed with, and uh, sorry to the hop fans out there, um, for butchering your names. Uh, Azaka hops, Zythos hops, Yukonot hops, <laughs> and this one says these hops provide a notes of pineapple, tangerine, and grapefruit which based on the smell i'm getting a i'm getting a very tropical sense from this one just like the last one you saw this one's very quite a bit of uh quite a bit of tropical aroma to it um but what makes this one interesting get to sorry to distracted by beer again uh, besides the hops that i've never heard of is the fact that the IBUs are at a measly 28 seems quite low for an IPA of sorts. Um, and the alcohol by volume is also kind of much lower than I am used to on beers that are noted as IPAs uh, at a 5.6%. Kind of different, kind of very different in my opinion. Um, but let's get to trying it out. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Man, that is that is really weird. That is very different from a lot of beers that I have uh, had as far as that that carry the hazy and IPA badge. Um and if you saw I'm drinking this out of my lovely St. Paul Brewery Summit Brewing Glass. It's a very nice beer stein, beer glass. Half a liter, woohoo! So yeah, this is this has got some very strange, very interesting flavor to it. I do not know what to think about this one, or I don't even know where to put my finger on a lot of these flavors. Yeah, it's definitely not it's definitely not bitter at all. Or at least to my taste buds and my palate. It is very, very tame as far as bitterness goes. But this is this is very different. I really don't know what to say about this one. It's it's smooth, it's drinkable, it's fizzy. You definitely get you definitely get some bubbles on your tongue. It says here it was uh, brewed in partner with Pizza Luce uh, for their winter menu. So if this is considered more of a winter IPA rather than a summer type of beer, that makes a little bit more sense because I, I kind of get that sensation from it that it's, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't, to me it almost doesn't drink like a, like the last beer I had, uh, like a hot day type of beer where it's, refreshing this one this one almost feels heavier in a way to me than the last one it's it's really strange um it's not bad it just doesn't really it definitely doesn't taste like your typical ipa beer would taste um it's very interesting i i would love to see and hear 
more people's opinions and comments and thoughts on this one for sure if you've had this one. Um, this one too, the besides the fact that it's local, because I do love to give shout outs to my local breweries and try their stuff. Um, but the can art on this one was kind of grabbed me too in the name, Tractor Beam, you know, Star Wars and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. It, it's just so different that for me to sit here and say, "Hey, this is an IPA," is just it just feels wrong almost. But if that's if that's the way they brewed it up, that style and whatnot, that's fine. But at twenty six or twenty eight IBUs and five point six alcohol by volume percentage, it's it's so different than what I'm used to. But I like it. It's it's very easy to drink. It's smooth. But it's just so different. It really is. Uh, I don't know if it's the fault of the beer or you know the, the fact that I had a couple beers now. Um, that it's feeling like my mouth is. It's leaving my mouth kind of dry and stuff. It's kind of different, but it's. I don't know. It's got. It's still retaining a very frothy head on it too. So this is a very different beer. I definitely would like to know more about this beer, so leave your comments below if you have any more thoughts on this one. I really don't know what to say about this one. Should you try it? Probably, just because it's so different as far as the realm of IPAs go and hazy IPAs go, so definitely give that a shot. But yeah, that head is really frothy. It's, it's almost kind of like, like I said, it drinks more like it's like a Guinness or something. It, it kind of has more density to it, it feels. The head is so creamy looking. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to finish this one off camera. And uh, leave a like if you like this video. And a comment below if you've had this. Or if it's something you wanted to try. And your thoughts and opinions on it. Hit that subscribe button for more beer review videos. I'm going to see if I can do a beer review video. Uh, weekly on Fridays, at least one a week, something like that, if I can try and keep that up. So thanks for watching again, and hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more.